President Obama is shifting gears on the restructuring of GM and Chrysler. Where he faces a staggering array of tough decisions. Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, I get a good feeling, yeah. Some Americans who've suffered the most during this recession have been those in the auto industry. Now, for the last several months, this administration's been working with Congress to reform an outdated system of financial regulation. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Do not doubt the direction we are heading and the destination we will reach. We are moving ahead on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Say these two words, and I know your families agree. Yeah. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. My fellow Americans, tonight I'd like to talk with you about We believed we could reverse the side of outsourcing and draw new jobs to our shores. And over the past five years, our businesses have created more than 11 million new jobs. It is wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. It is great to be in Boulder City. Time to unfurl our flags, raise them up, and let the world know we wish each other well. After two years of negotiations, the United States, together with our international partners, has achieved something that decades of animosity has not. A comprehensive long-term deal with Iran that will prevent it from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Two years ago, I directed GINA and the Environmental Protection Agency to take on this challenge. In 1963, in 1963, the 35th President of the United States stirred our hearts. In 1995, the 42nd President lifted our country's spirits. But the 44th President is different. Because, because, ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't just speak about the American dream, he is the American dream. And that is the American dream come home. So ladies and gentlemen, Erson Winston Aheron, let your voices be heard around the globe as I am honored to introduce the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and his first lady, Michelle Obama. Let's hear it. I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling.